hitting us like this, and they'll win for attrition. Fucking dogs. We should hit them back, right this minute. Easy now. Something stupid like that is exactly what they want to provoke. We've got to keep our heads. Sorry to interrupt, chaps. I brought that newcomer along. I've got no time for the detritus right now. Nelson, find something useful for this one to do. The rest of you, scrum! I need to go think. Never mind what Gaunt says, sweetie. He's a hard one, but he's been through a lot, and he bears a lot on his shoulders. He's got a big heart, really. Has been ever since both his parents died. Poor lad. He's a good boss. He cares a lot for all of us. He just don't always show it so well. I've got to go now, but stick around, sweetie. We're good people when you get to know us. Boy, newcomer. I think I still hear you breathing over there. Come over here and we'll have a gob. Jill Winston said they fished you out some lab down the pinder. If I still had eyes, I'd say you were pulling the wool over him. But Gaunt backed him up and he's not the fanciful type. Well, pleased to meet you, Wayfarer. My name's Blind Nelson. I'm Sebastian's right-hand man. And I was the same to his father back when he was the boss of the Vagabonds. I can't see no more, but I've been round the houses far longer than anyone else here, and my brain still ticks as good as ever. What are you, some sort of monster? <laughs> You're not seen a commuter before. There's a bunch of us Commuter, <laughs> okay. Something to do with radiation and whatnot. I never much cared why. I lost my skin to it back when I was young, and I've stayed like this ever since. You get used to it. There are some what call us ghouls. Cheeky bastards. Nah. <laughs> the Isle of Dogs Syndicate. I odds or Syndicate for sure. Syndicate, okay. But around here, they're just dogs. They're a rival gang based up at Millwall and Canary Wolf. I say rival, but they're bigger than us by almost any measure. Led by a chap called Thomas Black. Smart fella. They run guns and supplies for the gentry, which keeps them flush. Believe it or not, we were allied with them back in the day, working together to drive out the Normans. <laughs> Normans, okay, no Norman invasion. Since, and we've had some bad blood over the years. Simple fact is, my radio's broke, and I'm lost without it. Sebastian keeps me around for what brains I have, but without my radio, I'm deprived of some very necessary intel. I need someone with a pair of eyes and a pair of legs to fix it. You fit the bill, right? Here's the broken radio. Go find Chill Winston and ask him if he has any parts to fix it. Bulletooth Anthony is a workbench for when you got the bits. Bring it back here when it's all working smoothly and you're done. Easy, right? Okay, interesting. Hello, mate. Nice to see you again. What can I do you for? Hey, let's have a butcher's. Looks like he needs a new antenna. I'll have one in a box somewhere, I'm sure. But look, whilst I'm rooting around for that, I've got a job for you. One of uh. my main suppliers is running late with a delivery, and she's never late. I'm worried something's gone wrong. But after the latest attack here, I can't leave my post to see. I want you to nip down to Nadia's on Deptford High Street to check in on things, and get me the package if it's ready. By the time you're back, I'll have the antenna for you. Okay. So my stuff is here. I suppose I gave the gun away. Okay. Sure. If you hang around, wouldn't hurt none. We need the numbers. Well, that gun wasn't exactly to create, and it, it didn't go uh, um, out of fire, so no, no, nothing lost, basically. Star starter weapon, basically. And, no, well, Shotgun can de deliver a punch of damage. Uh, that's a, that's a look really good from the close range, but I don't have much of ammunition for it. So even even 
101 can be challenging at this point. And I should like to start putting points to the... Points to the uh, our stats. So let's do a... Uh, missions around here, so... Large chest. Finders keepers. Yeah, tactical automatic crude gun. Again. These are bad. <laughs> Evil even. Oh. Just either, but Ah, uh, she's taunted by the have a foxes with it. Oh, hello, hello. I guess I have you to thank. 
Those hooligans were ruining my lovely shop. <laughs> what a mess. What a mess. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> Good old vagabonds looking after us measly shopkeepers. Us poor lowly dealers subject to the whims and terrors of fate. We're very grateful, we are. Well, well. <laughs> I have that Winston fellow's package here. Some... What happened? Ah, oh, there's somebody. Ah, uh, not the foxes, not the foxes. Get this one. Can't do anything about this. You Hello. were saying. Hello. I guess I have you to thank. Yes, yes. Those hooligans were ruining my lovely shop. <laughs> what a don't, mess. Don't go there. What there's a a foxes. Killer foxes. Oh yes. Yeah. We're very great. Well, well. But listen, all ethically sourced, of course. Okay. Winston package. Slightly dangerous. Did he throw the gun somewhere? Well, that's a bad landing. has <laughs> worn off. Okay, so that but that was the foxes. What a monsters. Do it yourself. Okay, what is do it yourself? Self. Is this some kind of self-service place with robots? Okay. I think you can hide. I'll find you.
Ich bin ein Spurge Bench. Traffic Warden Hat. Nice. To Cleats. Mr. Handy Fuel. Turing is pretty good good name for the for the IT IT and and robotics firm. That's that's definitely one of the misunderstood genius. Cool test. Demon. Yeah. 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 Okay. They kind of swarmed me. And dog. Attack dog. Okay, that was... That's basically one of ours, so let's just chill. My mother wanted me to be a farmer. You got the delivery then. Thanks for that. And I'm glad Nadia's okay. She's one of my sharpest suppliers. I found the path for the radio you were after. Here you are. If you need a workbench to fix it, check with Bullet Tooth Anthony. He's usually down the basement. If you okay, so they have a. Hurt none. We need the numbers. Hello, sunshine. The name's Bullet Tooth Anthony. What you after? No chance, sunshine. I'm trying to fix up an old laser rifle I found, and it's laid out in a hundred pieces right now. You dare mess that up, and I'll have your head off. But look, you find me a piece to replace an old crystalline photon agitator, and I'll be able to finish it off. Then the workbench is all yours. Uh Most messes of old scrap electronics will have something useful in them. You can generally salvage them in old supply stores, or some of the traders in Lewisham should sell them. More bodies getting shot down never hurt anything. Crystalline photon ag agitator. Or 
fucking space. I don't know, everything... Ah, I know that place. Everything looks totally different in, in an, during night, in the dark. Okay, the cultist tactic is swarm the enemy. Apparently, London is pretty hardcore place. Existence will end in my glorious retribution. Service rifle. Okay, she had like a pretty nice weapon. Now I can save. Okay, Molotov cocktails are pretty okay, but they don't they don't have any any armor or something. Sixty percent chance to hit the head. Yes, please. This betrays you. I suppose you could could join the cult as well. Well, not anymore. The glades. Okay, so that's uh, entrance to that building. Okay. Paint. T station. <laughs> so you can actually craft different kinds of tea. Put the T. So that's why you need the meal. Like, ha! T station. So of course.
I'm just wondering why, why the German Luger has ended up in the uh, UK. Try at me, what? Okay. Yarn. Ouch. Very dangerous neighborhood. I mean, that's like a walking on the eggshells or minefield. Okay, here, here. And Didn't guess My mother wanted me to be a... What she want? Ah, lovely jubbly. Give it here, and I can get it cleared up. Here we are. A fully restored Upton Burke Class C laser rifle. Ain't it a beaut? Absolute shite that keeps breaking after ten shots, mind. <laughs> but it'll bugger up anything it hits before then. <laughs> now, you had some gizmo you wanted patched up. And it here, and I'll sort it for you. Let's see, out with the old, in with the new. I can tidy these frayed wires too. This is quite the old bit of junk Nelson's hanging on to. Well, it's all fixed, but it looks like the battery is knackered. I've got none of the right sort here, but Johnny Shrapnel should have him in spades. He's usually hanging out back by the chem station. Sp okay, speech. I wonder if I should drop all my stuff down down here. So, crap, no, around there. Oi, oi! If it ain't that lab rat, the fuck you want? Could help, sure. But I've got my own problems to worry about. Listen, give me an hand with something delicate, and I'll see what I can sort. Mickey's for been you. having a barney at me for blowing up his hat, and yes, yes. I uh, did blow up his hat, and don't okay. you mind how or why. But at the end of the day, it's just some damn cloth. Well, right. fancy pants Mickey don't see it that way. And I can't keep going on with him giving me the evil eye all day. He's freaking me the fuck so out. So I found him something to make up for things. But if I go trying to give it to him myself, I just know I'll say something stupid and ruin Why don't you go have a go at delivering it for me? Make him accept the damned apology and I can sort you out with a new battery. Okay, Johnny's apology gift. Blew up her hat. Hello, Gov. My name's Mickey. Can I help you with something? So that shrapnel brain pillock thinks she can just fob me with some token. That was my favourite hat he ruined. Tell him to fuck off. Does he really? That's pretty new for Johnny. Well, all right then. I'll take his apology if it means that much to him. Thanks, Gov. Okay, first time the charisma was useful. Let's see, by the way. More bodies getting shot down than right anything. Hey, you get Mickey to take the gift? Smashing. I wasn't sure how that would go. 
I'm glad you didn't try to kill me. No, yeah? you wanted a battery for that radio. Give it here, and I'll see what I've got. Blimey, this is old. Where do you even get something as taunty as this? I'll have to wire up a couple of nine volts to get this to work. Uh, let's see. Here you go. All done. And thanks once more for your help with Mickey. If you hang round, wouldn't hurt none. We need the numbers. The old man teach you better. You got the radio done up? You took your damn time about it. Where'd you go to fix it? As a buy on? Uh, well, above, yeah. Better late than never, I guess. Cheers. Don't know what I'd do without this. Now, let's have a listen to what's happening out in the smoke. Make sure you're all on high alert. The execution of the Vagabond prisoner will take place in Indiscan Square in Millwall. We're expecting a massive crowd, so we need all hands on deck. If your IODS in Millwall, be there. We're going to send a message to these two-bit punks. Nobody bombs a syndicate train station and gets away with it. Oh, for fuck's sake, turn that damn thing off! Why'd you even bring me this stupid radio anyway? You were just trying to upset me, weren't you? <laughs> What's Where's your problem? There? She's the one who vouched for you. I'm going to give her a piece of my mind. Oh shit, that's right. God damn it! I would say there's a 90% chance that she's about to do something stupid and find herself knee-deep in shit. Hey, listen, mate. Sorry I lost it on you a second ago. Y you did good with the radio. I need you to do something else for me now. Something much more important. Oh, how sweet. You're just a little sweetheart, aren't you? A little cutie pie that likes to cuddle up in a bubble bath and write their feelings down in a diary, eh? Dear diary, something like that. today I met a mean old ghoul with a knob the size of a cricket bat and he bullied me for loving the vet so goddamn much. Well, I think I might have another cry about it. Is that you then? Rhetorical question, it is you. But you're all I've got at the moment, so I'm going to need you to load up your dainty purse with supplies and head to Millwall to make sure Yvette hasn't done anything too stupid. She's got roots there, and you don't need to be Sherlock fucking Holmes to figure out she's going to make sure that poor soul headed to the hangman isn't one of her people. Bring Yvette back in one piece, and I'll make it worth your while. I don't know the whole story, just what I've been told. She had a brother once upon a time. Apparently, he found himself in the wrong place at the wrong time, and the Syndicate did what the Syndicate does to rival gang members. Turned him into kids. So, obviously, she has a bit of an axe to grind, but so does everyone else here, so who gives a shit? Just another Syndicate sob story. Join the bloody club. Scum of the fucking earth. Calling them the Isle of Dog Syndicate is an insult to mutts everywhere. Isle of bloody sheep shaggers and pikeys is more <laughs> like it. Just saying their name puts a bad taste in my mouth. It weren't always like that, though. We used to be allies. Right up until they plunged a knife in our backs and stole what's rightfully ours. They took almost everything. Our territory, our rackets, Gabriel. The bastards brutalised him. He were my best mate. And he made the Vagabonds a name to be feared in East London. But he's the one who made the mistake to trust them. I hate to say it, but he brought it on himself. And, by extension, all of us. Anyway. Listen to me going on like a chatty housewife after Sunday service. All you need to know is the Syndicate is bad fucking news. Keep clear of them if possible. Gabe Gorn, Seb's dad. He were our fearless leader until he decided to trust the dogs. Led us through the first gang war years back, he did. He were an incredible strategist, ruthless. But deep down, he wanted to see the good in people. A right foolish mistake in times like these. Paid for it with his life and the lives of most of our men. We came up together. He really was the best man I've ever known. But he's also the reason we're having this conversation in a dilapidated old pub as the vagabonds scrap and claw for even a fraction of what we once had. Needless to say, my feelings about him are a bit complicated. Have I been talking to myself? Or did you not hear the part about this gang having trust issues? There is no we until you've proven yourself beyond the shadow of a doubt, lad. Find right? Yvette, then we'll talk about becoming a we. Okay. Ain't that the bloody truth? 
In this world, the only person you can trust is yourself and your mum. That is, unless she's gone feral like my mum. But <laughs> yeah, even then, that, you can always trust her to try to chew your face off while you're sleeping. Yeah. All right. Uh, TV series had, had an interesting view of calls that they expanded. Brilliant. Head north to Millwall and don't come back until you find a vet. Tell a blind Nelson's looking for her. The fastest route across the Thames is through the Greenwich foot tunnel. Greenwich foot tunnel, okay. Okay, so... Alright. We have other other quests to do as well. 